Hey guys, this is Jessica Wilkin here with Benefit Fitness with Jessica. And I'm gonna show you a quick basu ball workout. Um, I actually got my basu ball for Christmas this past year. It's been about a little over five months ago since Christmas. Um, unfortunately, on December 20th, I fell skiing and actually got an open fracture. Um, so I've been broken ever since. It's been 19 weeks and three days to be exact. But I wanna show you that there are options and there are things that you can do even when you are broken. Um, I still, my x-rays look exactly the same as they do uh, 19 weeks ago. So I have no change, I've just gotten stronger. I've learned to adjust to my situation. And since I love exercise so much and I love the mental release and the, <laughs> the therapy that I get from it, um, it's just definitely something that I wanted to make sure that I, I continue to incorporate in my life. It's definitely helped with stress. It's helped me just, it's just helped me be, it's helped keep my mood up because this, this stuff sucks. I mean, if you're injured, you know, this is, this sucks. I mean, goodness, talk about take away your independence. Um, but like I said, there still are things we can do. You can modify um, any workout you can do. I do at home videos and I modify all of them. And if I can't do a plyometric jumping jack, then that's fine. I'm going to do something else. Um, it's just, you got to make it work and you got to make it work for you. But with any type of workout program, whether you're injured or not, you want to make sure that you talk with your doctor first and make sure that you get clearance to do any of those workouts because you don't want anybody getting hurt or potentially injuring themselves more. So I'm going to show you really quickly, just a quick basu ball workout that I do. Um, I'm just going to show you one of the moves. Well, I um, move around here on my crutches, and I'm going to get you situated here. And I think I started this one um, probably about two months ago. So it was about two to three months in um, to my injury that I actually did get the ball out. I had my husband blow it up for me, and start using it because I I just needed to do something. So it was a challenge for me to get on the floor at first. Um, I hadn't done that before. So I really had to, I mean, I'm sure you know, as getting on crutches or just learning how to walk around again, it's so much more mentally challenging than it is physically challenging. At least for me, it was. I mean, stairs were a killer. Um, just having to think about which foot do I put down first? Which crutch do I do crutches first? Like it was just a it was crazy, but getting on the floor onto my basu ball was kind of the same thing. I kind of was like, what do I do first? How do I get down here? So I personally, um, I just kind of put my hand on the ball and just pivot. So I have wood floors at home, as you can tell, that just makes it a lot easier for me. So on the basu ball, I can do my abs. I love working my abs, it's my favorite thing to do. So um, I just hold on to the ball and I just do the in and outs. You can touch the floor if you need to. Um, this obviously does take some core strength, which, you know, I don't have abs. I, I mean, they're under like a very thick layer of fat. <laughs> but, you know, I, I did do a lot of ab work beforehand um, and I didn't have abs then either. So, you know, it's not something I would suggest to do for anybody who has not worked out before because it is a little bit, it's a little bit challenging. So if you've never done this before, you know, maybe just try it on the floor first. Um, but it, like I said, it's one of my favorites works lower abs, upper abs, and it's great, and I love it. So you can just do that without hurting your leg. I actually did do this with my boot on several times. Of course, that leg was a little bit heavier because the boot weighs about six pounds, so that made it a little bit more challenging, but it's still something that I could do. Um, now getting up off of the ball, you wanna be really careful. It's the same thing, just as you got down, you wanna make sure you, you position yourself so you're stable and then you get your, your good leg out there so that you can pivot. So that's what I kind of had to do and just to position myself and then to stand up. So that's my favorite basu ball workout. I'm really excited that I actually got to use it finally after sitting in the box after Christmas for so long. So I'll show you guys some more workouts later, but hopefully you enjoy this one and have a great day. Thanks.